What's up, everyone? I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy. Uh, really proud of all of you doing the in-home workouts. And I showed you guys how to make a dumbbell using a plastic bag or a pillowcase. I'm going to show you a close-up of how to make the handle. I've been getting a lot of DMs and a lot of interest in that, and I'm very happy about that. Really happy you guys are doing in-home workouts and not going outside, staying safe, and following the rules. So here's a close-up of making a handle for a dumbbell. What you're going to need is an old toothbrush or anything that's going to be rigid and, and firm enough to put between the cardboard, a shoelace, cardboard, and some tape. To get started, you're going to put the toothbrush or whatever you're going to be using in between the cardboard and tie it as tight as you can. This is going to create the dumbbell. But first, before we tie it tight and tape it, we're going to put the shoelace right in between. Tie them real tight together and throw a piece of tape over it. So now I have a rigid dumbbell. And the reason I did it this time with the shoelace like this and not using the bags is you can use this to tie to anything you like. You can tie it to a bag or if you have some uh, weights, some free weights, but you don't have a dumbbell or you wanna tie it to anything that you can find around the house that'll give you a couple pounds. Here, I have a gallon of water. One gallon of water eight weighs eight pounds. So if I tie this around the gallon, I'm gonna have an eight pound dumbbell. If I tie it around two gallons, I'm gonna have 16 pounds. And if you guys are looking for some of you women or some of you guys that are lifting a little bit lighter, you can use a half a gallon and you can get four pounds. So just get creative with it. Um, here I just tied a regular bow tie. There's a lot of different knots you can use, but there you have it. So there's an eight pound dumbbell. There's a lot of exercises you can do with this. And again, once you have this cardboard with the toothbrush, you can really tie it to anything and get creative. Even if you have a brick or a cinder block in your yard, you can tie it around that. Now there's a lot of different variations of this, but this is the basic, basic use, basic one that you can make, and it's strong enough to hold up to 40 pounds. Depending on what you use to tie it to and what you use to put in between, the possibilities are endless. So keep coming up with creative ideas, stay home, stay safe, and stay in shape, guys.